Welcome to... Whatever this is, you're here. And Sister so Wife Rewatch. Yeah, we're getting a little confused. Season 8, Episode 7, Divorce. Um, and so there's a, this is a kind of a critical episode in the timeline of Sister Wives where it's very, very important to what happened to the family, but actually doesn't have that much information in it. So we open up with Mary at the, at the lawyer's office explaining that she would like to have a legal divorce from Cody because then Cody can marry Robin and then adopt their kids. Now, a big point of contention for a lot of people did that need to happen? Okay. Um, a lot of people say, oh, the law is that even if you're not married, they could adopt, et cetera, et cetera. No, it didn't need to happen because he did not need to adopt those kids. Well, I mean, there's a lot of different stuff going on. I will say that I have a friend who was cohabitating with someone for a long period of time, and they did, in fact, need to get married in order for her to adopt. They wouldn't allow her to adopt. That was a little different situation. And in some states, only married couples can adopt. Apparently, I've had people say that, well, in Nevada, that's not true. They could do domestic partnerships. I'm like, but could he have a domestic partnership when he's legally married to someone else? I don't know. But at some point, Robin lays out three points. They needed to be married. That's what people are questioning. Two, the father needed to give up his parental rights, which we'll also talk about. And three, a judge has to approve it. And my guess is that more than anything else, the third thing was part of the reason why they had to get married. Because if a judge says, well, Co it shows that Cody's legally married to another woman. Right. I think that's a bigger factor. I mean, you know that I am ready to throw Cody and Robin underneath the bus any chance I get. Mm -hmm. I don't think that they were incorrect in saying that they most likely needed to be married in order to, for him to adopt those kids. Now, does that mean that that is the whole reason? No, I don't think so. Robin... Oh, thank you. I love you. Robin talks repeatedly about how, well, you know, as a legal wife, I'm now in charge of making decisions about this or that, and I'm sure that people trust me to be fair. And I'm like, hmm. Well, I mean, unfortunately, they did. So, they got their money stolen. Um, yeah, I mean, she didn't, Cody's not even dead and she stole their money. So <laughs> she doesn't even need to wait till that. I, I mean, so my thing is, my attitude towards this is they probably did need to... Um, they probably did need to be married in order for him to be able to adopt. They could have, I mean, the thing is, is I kind of go, well, they could have tried without the marriage and they didn't do that. I don't know whether that, if they tried and he wasn't allowed, whether it hurt their options in the future. But, um, I don't know whether maybe the father said, I will only give up these rights in this case where he is providing this and that. The, now this is not from the show. But rumors I've heard, and I want to make that really clear, it's not from the show, is that they uh, forced him to give up his, le his legal rights, his parental rights to the kids, because he owed back child support and because they were trying to get him to pay for half of the surgery with Dayton. I've heard things about where he felt he shouldn't have to because it's through Cody's negligence that Dayton got hurt. Well, I don't know. The favorite kids get get surgery well and so here's the deal is I don't else. but that's that was not presented in the show and so it's really hard to tell with any rumors because people love to repeat them as fact and add their own bits to it I know. and then so you go even if it originally the original story was true after it's been repeated several times you don't know who along the line added their two cents to it and and skewed it so um, the lawyers explained to her that it will take about 10 days. They could write it up. They have to sign it. Something about like they have to send it to a judge for 10 days. It just sits on the judge's desk and after 10 days he signs it. I guess it's like a cooling off period. I guess so. Um, and that should make it easier for the divorce that, and that they could, it's going to be a little bit of a shift for her, but that Cody and Robin could get married right away the next day. So, then we see her back at her house. She calls up Cody and Robin. And this, all the other wives, right? And no. the family to let them know. No. Because it's a family decision, right? No. Because it, it, it has the potential to change the whole family dynamic, right? Yes. But the whole family is not going to be there. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. And it's not, so, yeah. So, she calls up Cody and... Cody's like, yeah, I can come over. And he's like, well, are you with Robin? And we're like, of course he's with Robin. So, it's with Robin, so they're going to come over. Now, of course, there's a multiple parts of me going, did they really not know? Did they know? 
I kind of, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Robin's been working on this for four years. I do think that this has been, I think there's, I think many, many things can be true at once. One, that they have been talking to Mary for years about how, and the reason, so to be clear, why does Cody need to adopt the kids? The reason why was this concern that Robin might die and um, then the kids would legally then go to the father who they presented as having very estranged. They alluded to it possibly being I mean, abusive. If I, I mean, they, they really, they really did say they, that without saying those the word, words. Without but they, saying the word that's abusive. That's what they were trying to get across. And, but and if, not, if I was that guy, I would sue Cody for screwing up my kid's eye on a four wheeler. You know. So and I don't and I, we never on the show meet the father. Ever. Ever. And I don't want to just say because I don't like Robin, he couldn't possibly abuse, be abusive because many terrible, awful people are also married to terrible, awful people. Yeah. So I but am not going to make any guesses. he could be a great guy. We don't know. But we don't know. I mean, I've certainly had people from his side of the family. I've seen comments from them who say, you know, this is all one-sided. This is not, this is, you know. I mean, after watching this show for 19, 18, however many seasons, I, I wouldn't take much for me to believe that. You know, so so we don't know about that. Um, so anyway, Cody and Robin come over. This is like, was this planned? Was this was there a middle ground? Did they not know? Did they know? I do think though, for years they've been dropping these hints about it would be so nice if you know this or that. I don't think that Mary, out of nowhere, came up hatched this plan. Right. Um, I don't think that she would even know that. Cody couldn't adopt these kids. I think they all knew, and there's evidence for that because they've mentioned it. I, I'm, this is where we watch the show sometimes. They've mentioned it on the show that he would love to be able to adopt these kids, but because they're not legally married, he can't. So she knew this. This is not like Mary sat down one day and said, there's a problem and I'm going to fix it and no one's giving me any instruction. They knew this was happening. I personally think, this is my opinion, and you are, many people disagree with it, I think that she was already involved with the catfish at this time. I would think so. I mean, she and certainly... And that's the timing for why she was willing to do it at this time. Well, she certainly wasn't involved with Cody at this time. I think they had been pressuring her for years. I think... Um, and I Cody's think... biggest concern when they talk about this is nothing's going to change, right? Like, you don't expect me to come over here. Certainly don't expect coitus, right? Well, I have some thoughts on that, too. My <laughs> thing, though, is I think if Mary hadn't volunteered it when she did, within a few seasons, oh, he would have brought it up and been like, this needs to happen because X, Y, Z. Bingo. Um, I think he was unwilling to do that on camera in public, so to speak. At this point in at time. At this point in time, because he was still it, to looked, play it. it would have looked bad for him to be pressuring her to divorce him. Yeah. Um, I So I think that they had been doing a covert campaign, and I think Mary fell to that campaign because the only reason she gave in, so they had their thing, and the trigger for why it happened at this time was that she was talking to the catfish, and maybe it didn't seem so awful to lose this last tie to Cody. He wasn't coming over to her house to, to have marital relations at this point, according to virtually everyone. Um, we now recently found out that he had melted down his wedding ring, and so there was some symbolic stuff going on. Right. He, uh, I believe at this point, he was if he was showing up at her house at all, it was much like Christine's where he would show up at 9, go to sleep, get up in the morning, and leave. Because he had to go if take... If he was there at all. He had to go take Robin's kids to school. If he was, And put him to bed. And put him to bed. If he was there at all, I would not... It would not in the least bit surprise me if he wasn't trading out some nights. <laughs> We know that when they traveled and it was accountable, or when people were there, it was accountable. But I think that it's very likely well, that he was traveled, skipping nights. Well, even when they traveled, he rearranged the schedule. Right. Um, so, so all of this happened. So anyway, so Cody and Robin come over. They sit down. They're like, we had no idea. And she tells them, I'm going to divorce Cody. I do think they were genuinely surprised. In the sense of like, oh, I can't believe you're saying this now, but not surprised in the sense of, wow, Mary, I, this never had occurred to me at any, any time or place. I think it was more of like a, wow, it's happening now. Yeah. I can't believe it's happening now. The way that maybe many 
proposals are a surprise. You're not like, wow, who is this stranger who proposed to me? For instance, when John and I proposed, I was very surprised. I got her when she was all drugged up. Um, I was, I had a big surgery. He was like, now's my in. No, but I was genuinely surprised when he proposed, but I knew it was coming all the same. I think that's kind of what that was. They had been working on this for a while. I will tell you our proposal story since you're begging to know, which is, um, I had, John had been ready. I don't know, since the second date, mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that I was in for life. Like, I wanted to make sure, which is actually kind of funny to how my, my parents got married, too, where my mom was like, I want to make sure that I'm 100% in. And so I was making sure I was 100% in. I had to have really intense foot surgery. I was staying with my parents for a couple of days. John was out of the country, actually, during that time. And I no, was I like... I was on the other side of the country. Oh, oh, okay. That was later. So he was across the country, and I like was like, Mom, I think, I think John's it. You know, is there anything I haven't considered, all that? And she was like, no, I think he's great, all of that. When he came back, um, do you want to go take that? Nope. Okay. When he came back, um, I was like, I think I'm ready. And John was like, oh. Oh, oh, like, okay, you know. And then he, like, got my parents' permission, which, of course, was, like, just sort of a, I don't need permission at 30 to get married, but it was nice. And my dad said as much, which is he asked about John's finances. And then eventually my mom was like, Roger, you didn't say yes or no. And he's like, of course, you guys are adults. It's up to you to decide. But yes, we are very happy for this union. My parents immediately went on vacation and left me. And we're like, okay, well, you're taking care of her now. Hey, you touched <laughs> her last, hands off. It's your issue. Gone. Okay. So, um, and then John proposed, I think within a few days. Yeah. But it genuinely surprised me because we were over at my parents' house to like, look at the house, like, because they were gone. We were house-sitting. You were house-sitting. I, I was, well, I was house I mean, I was, like, going, I wasn't house-sitting there. I was going over to check on Well, you were house. sitting at the house. Cause I was sitting at the house. Because I was, was, my foot was in a cast, <laughs> and I was on crutches full-time. Um, like, no weight-bearing, all of that. And he jumped into a pool, because some rocks were in there. And then he's like, oh, this kids. Because he's like, yeah. And so he was like, oh, I found a really cool rock. And I was like goofing off my phone and I looked up and he had, he was on one knee and he had the mask that he had with the ring inside. And I was like, this ring in fact. So it was kind of fun. But it was surprised me. I didn't think, I, I kind of thought it was perfect, but I kind of was expecting like a very traditional, like maybe a dinner or with like roses and stuff. Yeah, everybody no, does that. But he caught me off guard. No clue was going to happen. I was so excited, all of that. So that's kind of my impression is that they had been hoping and dreaming that this was coming. Right. Maybe they had even been pressing really hard recently. Um, but I do think that in that exact moment, there was some like, oh, it's happening now. Okay. So, like you said, Robin, for I'm such an easy crier, I kind of feel like she would have cried. She didn't really cry. She tried to no, pretend she was going to cry. she really didn't cry. But, yeah, she tried to fake it, which was terrible as usual. And then Cody goes into this whole, nothing's going to change right. And I was like... He really doesn't want to get back with her. <laughs> what I, well, I wanted to know what was the context of that. Was that like a please don't take my money? Yeah. <laughs> please pay into the family account. Like I, I. I'm sure that was part of it. I do. I do hope that he. I do think that there was some level of him being like, I know we haven't been sleeping together for four years, and you're now wanting a legal divorce, like. You're not going to out that we don't have an active relation marriage, right? Like, I do think there was some level of that. I do not think that it was genuinely like, I want to continue to have a marital relationship with you, and I want to treat you like a wife. I think no, it was right. mostly about appearances. Like, you're not leaving the show. You're not going to tell people he only has three wives. Like, you're going to still pay into the family. As, like, that as, part's normal, right? As much as he likes to tell everyone... The lie about oh this is you know this is the union under God and we're we're doing this for God and heaven and whatever else and it's like all he really cares about is how other people see it. I do think so, and I do think a huge part of his ego was wrapped up in oh he has four wives oh what that must be so difficult I can barely handle one wife he has four I think like he his ego oh, definitely for wanted to keep sure. that so. But it was a really odd thing, especially now that we know. I wonder what the context of what was being unsaid was yeah. actually going on. Right. So the next thing they do is says, we need to let Janelle and Christine know. But first, we're going to talk to Leon. 
who's home, uh, I, it must be summer, I'm a little confused on the timeline, sits down, has a very, well, what I noticed was, after this is all done, Robin goes up and hugs Mary. I did not see a lot of physical um, Well, he hasn't touched comfort. her in years. Why would he want to touch her now? Except the rest of the episode, he hugs her and kisses her every time he sees her. And so it really stood out to me mm. that in this conversation, he didn't go up and hug and kiss her. Mm. Now, maybe that's because Robin know. is there, but I really feel like, I really feel like it would have really sold the lie more if he had said, Robin, I, can I have a moment alone and, and assured her privately and kissed right. her. You know what I mean? None of that. But and not, but Le none of that. Leon's reaction was, oh, that's so great. And like, right. well, it was they, a non -starter. They explained it to, yeah, so they talked to Leon, explained that this is just on paper, still valuable member of the family, all of that. Handled it really well. Well, then they decide, this, decide they're going to tell Christine and Janelle. So Christine, Janelle, and Robin come over. Cody's not there, right? Cody right. wasn't there Cody's for that. There. This is so oh, weird. This is the greatest example of Christine being such a witch and hating on all the other Awful. wives. So um, Mary tells them and doesn't say, we want to make sure the whole family's on board with this change. Doesn't ask for Just permission. Just says this is what's happening. Just says this has been decided that I will divorce Cody legally, which, uh, frankly, my opinion, that part she doesn't need permission for. But the Cody's then going to marry Robin per part. That probably should have been a family decision. That should have been a family decision. But he said, I'm going to, uh, you know, Mary announces, I'm going to divorce Cody. Robin's going to marry him so we can divorce the kids. Immediately, Christine. So they can adopt the kids. Sorry. Not divorce the kids. Let me try that again. If I, if I was someone who cared about editing, I would edit that out. Mary's going to divorce Cody so Cody can marry Robin so they can adopt Robin's three oldest kids, which are not biologically related to him, so that if anything was to happen to Robin, the kids could stay with the family. I don't know, if, I don't, I don't know about the father, so I don't know whether that's the right choice or not, but that was a decision that they have made. Christine immediately gets up, goes over, that's and amazing. And punches Robin right in the face. Hugs, says how great this is. Oh, oh, is that how He's it went? like, that is so generous of you, Mary. Comforts Mary more than Cody has at this point. Yeah. How beautiful that is, what a sacrifice that is, how meaningful that is. So special to the kids. Once again, demonstrating that Christine was the worst of all the sisters. Yeah, right. Ones. Obviously, we're being sarcastic, but we have to point that out now because they made such a big deal of how awful Christine has been for all these years. Yeah. Janelle... No reaction. No reaction. They, Ex they do a close-up. Except finally she says, oh, the taxes no, no, no. are going to be a mess. Significantly later. Yeah. They do a close-up on, on Janelle, and all she does is this. Like her eyes narrow, just the infinitesimally small amount, okay? Yeah. Janelle does not say anything. Um, they ask, well, when is this going to happen? Tomorrow. They have waited until the absolute last second to tell anything. This is when they're going to go. The papers have been drawn up, all of that. They're going to go in. They're going to sign it. They're going to notarize it. Um, so this is this all happened very quickly. Janelle, still no response. Um, Janelle finally speaks, and she says, What a, what a mess the taxes are going to be. Because why couldn't you have waited till next year? Yeah. All the taxes. Janelle is saying so little, even by Janelle standards. You hear the producer yell, you know, not, not yell, yell, but say, how do you feel, Janelle? And she says, I'm not going to comment but beyond saying about the taxes. Mm -hmm. Janelle, th and this is where I say, we Jan always are Janelle saying... Janelle knows. She's got to spend some time lying to herself about it meaning nothing when it actually means, oh, yeah, new head wife, and everybody's got to get in line. I mean, I think she knew that. But I think she lied to herself until she believed it, that it wasn't going to be that way. But she knew. She knew it was going to be a problem. She knew that it was bad for the dynamics of the family. She knew based on how Robin is already grabbing resources every chance she get, what it means for them to mm -hmm. then have more protection. What it means. I think she does know what it means tax-wise. Yeah. I mean, I think there's a lot of stuff that she left unsaid. But... Um... I have a quote. I had to. I couldn't figure out what it says. It says, changes the fabric of reality of what is. Will we be the same? 
So the next day, Janelle, or later that day or something, Cody appears. He talks to Janelle. And she's very upfront. And he does a lot of like, Ooh, don't look over there. Ooh, ignore this. Mm. Just pay attention over here. Don't think too much about that. Because he's like, um, I won't change anything. He says the thing about how if you don't change anything and if Mary and Robin don't change, nothing will be different. And Janelle's like, no, if you don't behave any different, then things won't change. Like things will be the same. And she totally calls it out. She that knew. it is his responsibility. Um, I would love, this is where I would like to have them talk about I knew that he wasn't sleeping with Mary. I knew that he was sending her out to pasture and that he had been moving Robin into Mary's place. And not just, the thing about it was, it wasn't just like he went down to a three-day rotation. It's like he gave Robin what was Mary's. And this is very symbolic of that. Yeah. And skipped over and wasn't balancing things out. Right. So... And then he's like, well, he's very much like, but aren't we in a good place? And she's like, yeah, we're in the best place in our marriage that we've probably ever been. That didn't last too long, did it? Well, that's, though, that is good proof, though, of what they said in this last season about, well, why can't you be with, when Robin was crying about, why can't you be with Janelle? You had this renaissance in your relationship in Vegas. And she's a little bit like, yeah, we did. And it didn't last forever, and it's not the case now. Yeah. Like, I don't know, Chicky, what you want to, what you want to believe. But just because we were good eight years ago doesn't mean that we are still now good. The man has changed. I mean, it's 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 been I want I want to use the word fun, but that's not quite the right word. To to hear Janelle speak plainly about their relationship because it's always been such an unknown. And many people, I think because they have their own internal body issues, seem to be refused to acknowledge that Janelle and Cody could have a good relationship. And I've had people flat out say in my comments, Janelle is too heavy. He couldn't be attracted to her. And I'm like, well, we're really, really saying the quiet part out loud. Like there is no doubt about Not that how we, we believe that. No, no, no. We, we don't. don't believe that. I think it's very apparent. Well, when she was saying things like our relationship is fine. I couldn't tell if that was like the way I would, if somebody said, well, you and John are in a good place. And I was like, oh, we're fine. Like, that is ridiculous. Or whether it's the way that people say like, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's right, fine. Right, right. It's fine. And it's definitely not fine. So when she said that the first time, I kind of thought it. But I think it's been a lot of proof since that they are in fact like, oh, no, no, no. Don't you worry. We're good. Um, and I think that's also part of the reason why Robin never attacked Janelle, because I think Cody would have been like, hold up, don't you even start with that. Mm -hmm. She could do it with Christine, because Christine and Cody, this is going to sound gross, but they always kind of bickered like angry siblings. Like, they were not in a good place a lot of the time. Yeah. And it got significantly worse when Robin came, because, you know... It, it did. Because it did. she already wasn't getting enough... And now she was getting even less, and her kids were getting even less than that. Okay. I don't know what that alarm is for. Okay. So now we get into, they leave. They're going to go to the... Um, Circus. No. The lawyer's office. And now we get a lot more information from Robin, where she's like, well, you know, when I'm the legal wife, I'll be responsible for making decisions about Cody and for his estate should anything happen. And um, I know that they're going to trust me just as much as they trusted Mary, which one is not true. Well, they didn't have the option. It was going to be this way, and they got no input in it. Well, so. it happened before they arrived that it was well, that it was with Mary. And I don't, here's the thing: I don't think they necessarily trusted Mary that much, but I think they trusted Robin even less. Yeah. So I so I kind of laugh when she said that they're going to trust me as much as Ro as they trust Mary, because I was like, that's damning with faint praise, and I still don't think it's true. Like, the bar was really low because I think that there had been, there's a lot of hurt feelings between Janelle and Mary about uh, how things were handled in the past. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think there was always a concern that if Cody left, Mary would take a, a quantity of resources that left Christine, Christine and, and Janelle with not well, enough money to feed their family. she did that when they were married. 
without leaving them enough money to feed all the kids they had because prior to the TV show Mary didn't have all those kids by not her choice but still she didn't so she didn't have all those mouths to feed but she sure took the same amount of money that everybody else took right and this is all prior some people were like well she was making all that LuLaRoe money that was before LuLaRoe well they had all the TV money this is before the TV money things changed when the TV show came um, and anyway that's a whole different fight but the point is I think they already had problems with Mary and I think they really didn't trust Robin because she was she right. was fully willing to say all the time that Cody was too thrifty with his money. And you know Janelle and Christine were like, you know, our 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 kids are you know, the number of Janelle's kids and Christine's kids went into the military because there was no money for, for college. Jeez. Um and that's a perfectly fine that's a, that's oh, a yeah. brilliant choice if you don't have the money, don't go into a bajillion dollars in debt. It's just too um, bad that they were forced into that. I mean, I mean maybe they wanted to do it anyway, but Yeah. They, so anyway, that's a whole that's a we're getting off topic here. So anyway, so they go in, so when 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 Robin is very gleefully talking about her her new duties as a legal wife, right. I mean it really is it really is gross. Um and speaking of which, I don't think as the legal wife, I mean, if he had a really good will that they all, that was signed to and that she signed to, there wouldn't need to be this, we'll all make sure that everyone's taken care of. And they talk about it flat out about, um, we've seen families where the husband died and the wife wasn't sh fair with resources. And I'm like, yeah, and you're taking notes and writing it down and, and getting references for how you're going to handle it. Right. So... They go to the, the lawyer. It's clearly very difficult for Mary. Cody, they and then they invite Robin to go to be the witness. And I'm like, oh, this is so blank and gross. Because it feels like, then it, then bring the other two wives. Or at least invite them. And if they don't want to go, then that's fine. Right. But it's so much like, here we are again with Cody and Mary scheming to bring Robin into the family without the rest of the family knowing. And then it backfiring right in Mary's face. And you go, well, if you didn't figure it out the first time, I guess you're not going to figure out the second or the third. Um, you know, uh, so there you go. They're going to do it. Cody's asking about the legality. And the, the lawyer's like, well, legally, the, the, you know, is, is, is it going to be okay? And they explain what bigamy is versus what they're doing, which is bigamy is where you're legally trying to get married to two different people. And they're like, basically, since you're not legally married, some hand-waving, I am not going to be on the forefront of fighting for legal polygamy, but I will say it's ridiculous to me that, um, that like plenty of married men have long-term mistresses and I don't see them going after them for bigamy. So I'm a little bit like, unless you want to start legalizing that men who have, or women who have affairs are now in a polygamous relationship, it's kind of silly to go after them. I do wish that, and it's like, maybe it would be right to have laws about it. So at least then there couldn't be, right? you know, like if there's welfare fraud with the draining the beast or whatever they call it, uh, when you like use a bunch of, you pretend that you're a single mom so you can drain all these oh. resources. Oh, you mean like the sister wives did before they got on TV? Yeah. Like I guess that, or as they pointed out to protect women from abuse because they can't go to the police because then the police will arrest them for Polygamy, so then they don't report abuse and stuff. I, I don't know. I'm not a legal expert, but I would support it if it helped protect women and children. And if it's just about people shouldn't be having sex with other people, I go, that's really none of my business. So I'm right. just going right. to I'm just gonna tap out of that conversation because I don't know that, you know, I was going to make a joke, but I won't. Okay, so then Robin explains there's three steps to being able to adopt the kids. That's what I mentioned at the beginning. One was that they're legally married. Two, that the father gives up his parental rights. And three, that a judge signs off. And she says, even if we get the first two, we're not sure if the, if the third will go through. Um, and that is where I think a lot of this, they have to be legally married. I think that's part of it. Um, they sure knew that offhand. So it doesn't make me, it, doesn't, it makes me think that this was not necessarily just something Mary randomly cooked up. So that is my opinion on the episode. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you around. Bye.